Now I'm going to show you how to connect your guitar in a couple different ways. We're going to start with going into a direct box, into Pro Tools, then to your guitar. And we're going to take a female XLR cable and plug it into the mic output. Then we're going to take the male XLR and plug it into the input 3 on the back of the Digi 003 rack. And now we're going to take a regular guitar cable quarter inch and plug it into the instrument quarter inch slot. And you want to keep, if it has this option on your direct box, input on pickup. And then plug the other end into your guitar and we're ready to go. Now I'm going to show you option two, how to connect your guitar to the Digi 003 rack. We take a regular guitar cable quarter inch and we're going to plug it into the back of the Digi 003 rack input 3 and that is marked DI. Then we're going to take the other end of the guitar cable and plug it right into our guitar. And now I'm going to show you the third option is using an effects pedal. And it's pretty much like the previous description, except we're going to put the guitar pedal in the middle of that chain. So we're going to take regular guitar cable again, quarter inch, plug it into the back of the Digi 003 rack, input 3, marked DI. We're going to take the other end of that guitar cable and plug it into the output of this guitar effects pedal. Then we're going to take another guitar cable quarter inch, plug it into the input jack, the effects pedal, and then the other end we're going to plug into our guitar. And we're ready to go. Now the way we're going to record is we're going to use the free plug-in that came with Pro Tools is the amp which is 11 for free and we're gonna go to inserts A and E here we're gonna use A and this is for inserting plugins on tracks and you wanna make sure the inserts A to E or F to J view in the show and mix or edit window now click the insert selector on the track and select the plugin that you wanna use Again, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to use the Amp Simulator 11. Now our amp opens up and we're going to just use the basic amp that's already loaded in there just to keep it as simple as possible. And you can mess around and turn all these knobs if you like, but like again, we're going to keep it very basic, keep everything set just as it is as the preset stands. Up here we can just close out of that and it will still be active. Now here it shows our ins insert A is now has the plug-in 11 free marked and if you click on that again it will open back up here if you need to make changes if the sounds horrible and you want to just change it. Again, click the red button to close it back out. Now we're going to record audio to a track. First we need to enable the record button. So click the tracks record enable button by simply just pressing. And it turn blinks red. That means the track is armed and we will be shortly ready to record. Now to hear it, again, we showed you turn up your monitors so you can hear it or your headphone level. And now you grab your guitar, we can strum a couple chords here, and you can see the meter in green going up and down. Now if your level is very low, barely showing up green, um, you can go back in to your amp like I showed you by clicking 11 free and that's you can turn your level up there 
or we can go back to the digi rack and turn up our gain volume and that will give us a little more volume now if it's in the red that's too hot and it's all distorted too badly um, we're going to want to go in and lower our volume we want a nice green into the yellow just a little bit that's a, a very good level now if you've done everything I told you and your track is armed ready to record and you don't hear any audio um, there could be a couple things that are wrong so I'm just gonna run through them real quick here if you go up to track and you want to make sure this says input only monitoring um, if it's on auto you might not hear the audio so you want to make sure you click input only monitoring and the other issue might be as we discussed earlier turning the volume up um, on your headphones or your monitor just to make sure um, the levels up and you can hear everything and also um, we'll use some gain level here if you're plugging guitar directly in like we showed earlier um, you might not have enough level so we can turn that up a little too that's only if you run into this problem now we're going to switch to our edit screen so we can watch what happens when we record so we're gonna go up here to window and click edit and now there is a quick key you can do here instead of hitting record and play to record we can hit simply on your keyboard the number three and that will automatically start the recording so we're gonna do that and now you can see in pink that we are recording and I can't record and videotape at the same time is why we have no signal coming in and you'll also see the solid red light and green light that means we are in record mode when it's blinking again we're just we're not recording we can just hear the signal to get our levels this is our bars and beats showing us how far we are recording and at any time to stop the recording you can press the space bar and that stops the recording and takes it out of pink and turns it to the blue color now you notice everything is stopped and it returned back to the beginning of the song our track and the red light is blinking again so that shows us we are out of recording mode now to play back the recording click the tracks record enable button again to take it out of record mode so this means it won't be blinking anymore it will just be as it is and click play we just hit the space bar and now we can hear back our recording and when you want to stop again just press the space bar now if the recording is not to your liking and you'd like to redo it we can go in and now we can delete this track and start again so there's two ways to do it you can use a quick key which is Apple X and that will delete the recording and another way to delete it is to right click and it brings down a menu and you can cut or clear the track we select cut and track is gone now if you made an error and you like that recording and want it back you can hit another quick key which is the Apple key and Z you can also go up to the edit button here and click undo and that will bring the track back exactly as you left it and that's how you record a basic guitar track